This is Apple Valley News Now at 6.30 on your side. Well, we're all preparing for the first really hot weekend of the summer. This is going to be from the Blues to the Cascades. While fire and medical crews will be on standby, people whom are out in the elements are preparing right now. This is Jarvis from Kennewick. He is unhoused. Not looking forward to it. I hate the hot weather. It kills me during every summer. I am out here every day for eight hours in the heat, and I can't stand it. With help from others in our community, Jarvis now has an ice cooler, a new umbrella, and this water bowl for his dog. Always find a lot of shade, keep water handy, and make sure you have enough for your pets. According to the CDC, heat is one of the leading weather-related killers in the United States, resulting in over 1,000 fatalities each year. In the heat, staying safe, um, work in the morning, work in the evening, obviously take breaks in between, stay well hydrated before you get out to work. Uh, if you have elderly friends, family, or neighbors, keep an eye on them and make sure they're taking the appropriate breaks and everything. And if it's absolutely not critical to be out there, then don't be out there when it's in extreme heat. I met up with Benton County Fire District's one chief on Wednesday, whose department is preparing for the heat and the possibility of brush fires, structure fires too. The chief told us that since around 75% of their normal calls are for medical situations, they are ready to help in any way they can. So you see this all the time. We do. We do, especially early part of the year when people are not climatized to the acclimatized to the uh, the weather and we're not going to be by this Saturday because it's really nice out right now and cool. Young children and infants, older adults, people with chronic medical conditions, the unhoused and pregnant women are all in the higher risk category. I'm at the first sign of any symptoms of heat exhaustion, get yourself into a cooler area right away and if you don't see a change within about 10 minutes, definitely call emergency services, call 911. For Jarvis and his four-legged best friend, he's planning to head to the river this weekend. And then I'm, the river is the best place to go when it's really hot. <laughs> and according to the National Weather Service, if you or someone you know may have been a victim of excessive heat, you are actually encouraged to share your story with your local police or fire department so they can help prevent others from becoming a heat victim.